All right, guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at the Navigator, which is used for routing and for changing pages. Um, there's a lot of different ways you can use it. What we're going to do is use it to navigate from one component to another. Um, now, when we're working with the Navigator, we work with what's called a scene. And a scene is basically just that. It's what you see um, in, in the, not the browser, but the, on the device. Okay, whether it's a component or whether it's the same component, just different data, uh, it's divided into scenes. So what we're going to do is create in the components folder uh, a new folder, and we're going to call this, uh, we'll just say scene components. And then inside there, let's create a file called scene component onejs and then we'll create another one called scene component 2.js and then in, in index.android is where we're going to bring in the navigator so up here let's import it okay and then we're also going to import those two uh, scene components so right here let's say import scene component one which will be from uh, it'll be from dot slash app slash components slash scene components slash scene component one okay and then we want to bring in two as well change that and that all right so we imported the navigator we imported our scene components uh, now what we're going to do is create a function called render scene all right and then this is going to take in a route and also navigator Okay, and then here what we want to do is have some kind of conditional. You could use an if statement, but I would suggest using a switch. Okay, so switch, and then we're going to take the route ID, and then we'll create a case. So we'll say case scene one. Then we want to return. And in here we want our scene component one, like that. Okay, so if case is scene one, it's going to render that. And we can give it a title. We'll set it to scene one. And then we also want to pass in that navigator. Uh, that navigator object. So we're going to say equals navigator. All right, so that's scene one. Let's create a second case for scene two. Okay, and that will render that. Change the title. Now down here in the view, uh, we're actually not going to use the view. We're going to return the navigator element okay and then that's going to take in an initial route so what do we want the initial route to be and we're going to put in here um, we'll say ID scene one alright and then we want to say render scene and that's going to equal this dot render scene, which is the function we just created. All right, so let's save that, see what it gives us. Okay, so expected a string, but got object. Check the render method of navigator. 
All right, so we haven't put anything in our scene one and two component yet, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm just going to copy our boilerplate component. Okay, put that in there. We'll call this scene component one. Okay, we want to export that down here. Let's go ahead and just change this here to scene one. All right, and we shouldn't need a constructor here, so I'll just get rid of that for now. Okay, so we'll save that and let's copy the whole thing and then put that in scene component two. Just change that up. Okay, we'll save that. And let's reload this. And you can see now we're getting scene one. Now we're getting scene one because that's what we chose to use as our initial route right here. Okay, and that's what we're passing into this uh, switch statement. Now we have no way to get to scene two. We need to create some navigation. So let's go to our scene one component and we're going to bring in our toolbar Android. I mean, obviously you could use whatever you'd like to, uh, to, to use as a button, but we're going to bring in toolbar Android. Let's also bring in touchable highlight. And we'll also bring in style sheet. Okay, and then what we'll do is down in the render, we'll go let's go right here and put in a view. Okay, inside the view, let's do the toolbar Android. say title set that to this dot props dot title because remember we passed the title in if we look at our index Android we're passing in the title right here into scene component one all right so we're gonna grab it from that and then what we want to do is underneath that let's put in a touchable highlight. Okay, we're going to say on press and set that to this dot and we'll say nav scene two and we'll just bind this. Okay, and this will just be some text. It's not going to look fancy. Just want to show you how it works. All right, so in our text we'll say go to scene 2. And let's give this toolbar android a style. We'll say styles.toolbar. And we'll go down here. stylesheet.create we'll say height 58 and background color light gray now we need to create this nav scene 2 function so we're going to go above the render all right now to change the page to navigate all we have to do is say uh, this dot props dot navigator because remember we passed the navigator in as a property and then just call push okay inside push we're just going to change the ID to scene 2 
Now the ID, this could be anything you want. Uh, I just set it as ID um, right here. And we're passing it in here, route.id. But it could be anything. Okay, so that should navigate to scene two. So let's save this. Okay. Um, oh, let's get rid of that text right there. Okay, so we're on scene one. You can see it's uh, reflected in the in the toolbar. If I go and I click on go to scene two, brings us to scene two, which we should style just like this. So let's actually copy everything here and we'll go to scene two, paste that in. And um, this is now going to go back to scene one. So we're going to just put a one there, there and there. And we'll say go to scene one. All right, so let's save that. Okay, we'll just reload the whole thing. Okay, so go to scene two. And now we're in scene two, and you can see the link says go to scene one. All right, so we now have effective navigation. And you can see it has a nice little slide effect. It kind of comes over from the side. And that would be a lot smoother on a real device rather than the emulator. Now, another cool thing we can do is we can change the uh, transition. So right now it's coming in from the side, but we could make it come in from the bottom if we want by just adding an extra property here. So we could say configure screen and uh, set that. That's going to take in two parameters. It's going to take route and the route stack. Okay, and then we're going to use an arrow. And actually, no, we don't want curly braces. We want to say navigator. Uh, navigator dot scene configs. And then we want to say dot float from bottom. Just like that. Actually, that should have a end with a curly brace. Okay, let's try that. So now if I click go to scene one. Oh, that didn't work. Let's see. Configure screen. Oh, it's configure scene, not screen. Undefined is on an object. Oh, we have a, a uppercase L right here. That should be lowercase. All right, so that should work. Okay, go to scene two. And now you can see it comes up from the bottom instead of the side. All right, good. Now, just to show you the different options we have for this. Okay, this is for a configure scene. Um, we have push from right, which is the default. We have float from right, float from left, bottom, uh, float from bottom Android, which looks like it's only Android, swipe from left, horizontal swipe jump. So you have all these different options that you can use um, for the configure scene, which is really cool. So that's the basics of the Navigator. Um, we'll be using that more as we move along as well. Okay, so that's it, and I will see you in the next video.